All right, so here we are back at the boiler again. We're running at 179. The default on the uh, temperature control here is actually 185. The damper will not open until this reaches 175. Um, and I'm bringing you back out to the boiler because, you know, besides the pump being reversed and all the problems we were having, we went to go fire it up. Everything seemed to be running normally, and we still had some boiling over. And you can see the discoloration on the uh, roof here. But um, come to find out, I had called a local parts dealer and told him what my situation was because I was having some issues with this. It said it was reading 162 here and we had water boiling over like crazy and so that's just not that's just not right so I went and flipped the breaker off and found out that when I flipped it back on this thing was fluctuating between 210 to 160 to 190 165 and it stayed in the 160 range and it was keeping the damper open so I called talked to the guy at the uh, central boiler parts place uh, localized um, you can't call central boiler because they'll just refer you to a local dealer but uh, I had to replace this piece this con little control module this uh, thermostat thing and the thermocouple which is just a three foot wire that goes in to a dry well inside the unit and uh, basically taps into that and uh, that's what sends the temp across and what I was told was that um, it's been a pretty common situation up here in Michigan this year because of all the rainstorms that we had and when I asked him what he meant by that he said a lot of these units were being struck by lightning and frying the actual sensor whoa did you get blasted? Did a dinosaur get you? No. No? Dinosaur didn't get you? Uh, so lightning strikes have been a culprit in some of these uh, repairs. And I'm wondering if that's what happened to us because we had some severe lightning um, earlier on in the summer that took out some trees, um, all kinds of things. So I'm wondering if that happened here. But it is working great at the moment. We haven't had any issues. We've got hot water. We've got hot air in the house, no problems. And the water level is staying pretty consistent. So if you're having any issues to finalize my diagnosis, um, aside from the burnout, or the flipped up upside down pump from the previous owner, if you're having any issues, check this thing right here. This piece by itself was like 50 bucks and the thermocouple was 12 and this was the last one they had on hand uh, where I'm at so if you have any issues check this thing out um, what I was told to test this was to hit the set button twice gives you the reading that you have it set at drop it all the way down to you know 10 degrees below what it says it's at and once you do that you should hear the damper open now, if the damper's opening, it could just be that your sensor is reading wrong inside, okay? So, for $60, this was a good fix. It took me about an hour to do, only because you've got to open this door up, and on the inside, there's some wiring, some screws that are kind of hard to get to because you got to get a screwdriver between here and here because the screws are on the top. Um, they're like little set screws. But I'll, I'll try and get some pictures of those up in this video so you can see what I was dealing with. Alright, so I hope this helps somebody because I wish I knew this information going into this project. It would have saved me a lot of time. Uh, and I'll probably give a shout out to um, Natural Trail Enterprises. Uh, they were the ones that helped me out up here in Michigan. So uh, if you're in this area and you're having issues, give them a buzz. Alright, on to the next.